Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon. And today on Fluke Fridays, episode number 98, what we're going to talk about is actually the 1770 series. And we're going to talk about using the Wi-Fi connection. So connecting to your Wi-Fi network and then downloading the information um, on a PC remotely that's connected to that same network, whether you're signed in via VPN or whether you're signed in and you're just on the local network anyways. Um, we're going to talk about how you can download the information without going out and connecting to it if your uh, 1770 series is connected to the Wi-Fi or how you can use um, your PC to remote display or look at the remote display and actually see live readings and control it, set up a new log and start a log and then download it later. So you could leave this, um, if you're in a big industrial plant, you could actually go put it in a panel somewhere, connect it to the Wi-Fi infrastructure that you have access to, have your PC back in your office connected to that same Wi-Fi network and then find the unit and download the information. So let's jump into it. So once you have your device turned on, there's a few things you're gonna have to do. Um, you're going to have to go in here and under communication settings, we'll click that and you are going to have to do Wi-Fi client. You're going to want to connect to the Wi-Fi network you have. You will have to type in the password and then click connect. Once you connect, this is what it should look like. It'll look like it's connected. Obviously I have a disconnect option down here. I'm not going to do that because I want to stay connected, but you'll have to connect to that the first time. Um, radio, if your radio is off, you might have to turn it on, but I don't think that'll be the case. Obviously, Ethernet, we don't have to worry about. Let's move down the line. Cellular modem, we don't have a cellular modem in this device. If you do, we can, if I ever get one, I'll try to do a video on that. And then remote display. We do want to have that remote display enabled. Mine uh, defaulted was disabled, so we want it to be um, enabled. Okay? Now, when we do the remote display, we are going to need this um, uh, IP address when we get to the PC to look at this display remotely. Okay, when we get to the PC, we'll both show you how you can download data remotely and how you can see this exact screen and navigate it on the PC. Okay, so we got our settings set up on the instrument. Now we're over at the PC and we're going to jump into it. So first we're going to go with the Fluke Energy Analyze Plus, and of course it's opening up on the wrong screen. Sorry, let me pull it over. This is what Fluke Energy Analyze Plus looks like. <clears throat> um, because we're already connected to the same network that I'm connected to at home with my um, desktop, I can click Download Data. And you can see you've got a bunch of different options. Um, this is where you're gonna see if you had a direct connection, you'd see that, but you see Wi-Fi, Ethernet, Click that, and now you can see the different logging sessions that are on the PC, and you could select them, download them, and it will run just as though you did it. Here, let's uh, let's just uh, there you go. I deselected everything, and let's just go ahead and we'll re-download one of these. Download. Uh, Yep, that's fine. And okay. So one, say save. And you can see it will download in the progress. This wasn't an overly long, huge file, but um, it at least gives you an idea that you can do it and it doesn't take forever. If you had a really big um, data source, you know, it might take longer, but. Uh, you can walk away and come back. And then you get your download, you get your data downloaded, and you are never connected to the 1770 series um, locally, either with a USB cable or you didn't take the um, USB flash drive and move it. My preferred method is the USB flash drive, but this is kind of a cool way if you want to be in another side of the plant and access the data remotely. The next way, we're going to say B and C. I downloaded this earlier. Oops, it's not searching for it right. Tight, tight VNC viewer. You can download that um, online. Just go ahead, if you don't know how to do it, Google it. I'm sure there's somebody that's made a video and we'll show you how to do that. I already connected to 
my 1770 series remotely, so I do have the IP address already typed in. When you log in the first time, you're not going to have this in. You're going to have to go to your 1770 series and look at what that um, IP address is where I showed you before in the video. Hit connect, and in theory, here we go. Now it's going to show us the screenshot of the VNC at, or of the 1770 series, just like you were using your touch, you just use your mouse, you click power quality log, it goes to the next screen, you can change your topology or whatever. So I'm controlling this remotely, you can do everything that you would want to on here, just as though you were actually using your finger and in, in front of the device, and then you could go through and you can even start a logging session right here click start log and it'll be off and run into the races and then you can just disconnect from it let it run come back later download the information just like you did previously with um, fluke energy analyze plus and control everything remotely this way so i hope this is helpful um, if you're ever trying to do that, that's exactly how you're going to do it. And it's not very difficult as long as you have permission from IT, which I do because I own the network at my house. But as long as you have permission from IT to put it on there, um, it'll assign an IP and you can go out and find it. So hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've watched more than three videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, there's also another video on Fluke Energy Analyze Plus and how to make a report, and that might be something you want to check out. There's a whole playlist on the 1770 series as well. Have a great weekend.